Joy San Anthony, aka JJ here. So before we get to the five features of the grease pencil, you make need to make sure that you have 2.91 downloaded. And as of today, I will be using the 2.91 beta form. Link in description. So now on to Blender. When you open up Blender version 2.91, the first thing I noticed was the beautiful new splash screen. So what you need to do is click on 2D animation. Grease pencil add-on can be found in preferences. So go to edit, preferences, add-on, and then in the add-on type in, I just typed in grease pencil and it came up. It's object grease pencil tool. So make sure that you check mark that so that it works. Now, when you push keyboard shortcut in, it will appear on the right side, right under view. So now that we have the add-on added, we're going to go into the five new features. Feature number one, importing textured brushes. This is the feature that I am most excited about and will save so much time. When you open up Blender, you have the standard eight brushes. But if you're like me, you're like, these are great, but I want more brushes to play with. If you look on the right side where it says brushes and click that drop down menu, brush specials and click download and import texture brush pack. You see the bottom right, it, 16 brushes were just downloaded. Huge thanks to the grease pencil team for these brushes. So as you can see, we have 16 more brushes to use. And I'm so excited because I just feel like with this new way to import brushes, it's so much faster. If we go back to 2.90, I will show you. Okay, so I have version 2.90 open and I have, kind of, I have this kind of sped up. I just wanted to show the difference. So now I'm in 2.90. I want to upload the textured brushes from Daniel Martinez and the grease pencil team. You go to file, append. I have the brushes downloaded on my desktop. I need to find the folder, brush. Gotta scroll down, find all the brushes. And of course there's, I believe, 15 or 16 of them, append. And then what took me the longest time is when I clicked on it, I, it, it, I had to play around with the settings for the brush to come out like the icon. See, this is me just clicking the brush. It looks nothing like the icon on the right. So I had to play with the blend amount. And eventually, you know, five, 10, 15, 20 minutes later, I would finally get the settings. That's way different than 2.91. So right now I'm back in 2.91 and what I'm so excited about is when I now when I click a brush the icon like the image that you see in the icon is what comes out right away saving me so much time. Okay, on to number two. I could talk about the textured brushes all day. So the second new feature is the box deform tool. I don't know if you guys use Procreate or Photoshop, but I think of it kind of like liquify. So now you have to press N again to bring up the features. Once you have grease pencil selected, click box deform. And now by clicking on the edges of my squiggly, I'm able to twist and contort my squiggly. But now you're probably thinking, I wanna conform it more. So by pressing short key one, two, and then three, you're able to get more specific. So again, the short keys are one, two, three, and four when you're in box deform. 
And of course, to undo it, Control Z, and you go right back to normal. Now I wanna try this with my sketch that I did on the left. To do it, you need to go to edit. Well, then I have her all selected, but unselect her and then select the part that I want to deform. And then again, I can play around with it. I'm pressing one, two, three, and four because I want to get more specific. The third feature is straight stroke, which is right under box deform with the grease pencil add-on. So I just drew the zigzaggy line and I want it to be straight. So I would just click on it and it automatically goes straight, but I don't want it that straight. So you can go to the bottom left and click on, play around with the settings and make it, you know, kind of zigzaggy, but kind of not. So of course if you go to zero, it's right back to original and 100 is a complete straight line. The fourth new feature is the ability to rotate the canvas, which is control, alt, middle, click. If you're using a mouse like myself, which is cool because I, with traditional media, I kind of tilt my paper to an angle when I'm drawing. So this is a cool new feature. And to undo it, again, it's control or I'm sorry command Z the fifth new feature are the two zoom features right under straight stroke so the first one is zoom one one there you go zoom in and then the second option is zoom fit which makes my camera view fit the screen so those are two cool new zoom options and a bonus feature, which is number six, which is the improved fill tool. So if you look at my image, I duplicated my line art and the farthest left is my reference image. So of course I finished sketching. So now I want to go in and fill in her skin. Before I, I try this new fill feature, I made sure that my stroke and fill was the same color and they were both check marked. To try this new feature, you click the paintbrush and then at the top center, it's on plus, you're going to go to the minus and then click outside of the image, the sketch. And then of course my lines aren't all closed. So after a second time, my full image is colored in, which is awesome because this is another feature that saves time. Thank you so much for watching and listening. The remaining video is a time lapse of me drawing this character in 2.91 beta.